What's up guys? So this is 2v2 gameplay with Life Alert and So Steady. They're playing against Alumni and Thuggish Killer. This was a 2v2 tournament back in November in which they won for a couple hundred dollars. So congratulations to them. And let's get started. So we see at the start of the game they push Railgun. That's pretty controversial. Some players push Sniper, some players push Railgun. It It's really all dependent on how well you are with the weapons and you know the play style of your team. But anyway, so they back down off of the player's top mid, and they're just kind of chilling here at red. Um, now, they know that the other team has a sniper, so they need to be really cautious of their challenges just because of how, um, how easy this weapon is to use in this game. So we see that they're just controlling red street right here. Uh, we got life alert pushing towards Mohawk. Spotted a guy, I think blue bridge, but he sees the player top mid. Uh, not the best BR shot, so he's going to back down. And now we see so steady kind of uh, backing down, working the bottom streets with his railgun. That's a good play because of the fact that you can't control up top with a railgun. I mean, especially against a sniper, it's just not going to happen. So we see so steady coming up on blue ramp, getting a railgun kill, giving them the one point lead. And we see life alert pushing towards Mohawk. Now he backs down from that challenge, assuming that guy had sniper. I'm just assuming that because as soon as uh, alumni looked at life alert, he backed down. Solid BR, solid BR shots here. Okay, so it looks like Thuggish Killer had this sniper. Uh, life alert challenges and gets blamed. Can't really do that in Halo 4. But uh, gets the blue street spawn. Pretty bad spawn, just because there was a guy in blue street. Gets cleaned up off spawn. That will put them down by one point. So it is two to three. So we got Life Alert with the open spawn here, just trying to play passive. Pushing up top mid now. Uh, so Steady is going to have to make a play here. There's not too much that Life Alert can do sitting top mid. Or sitting open side of top mid, I should say. Now Sniper is up. It's always important to time power weapons because essentially that's, that is what is going to win you games, is your power weapon control. Now he hears a guy pushing him from blue side of top mid. Gets the no-scope. Challenges the second guy, misses it, but he's one shot and he's going to stay alive with this sniper. You definitely do not want to give your opponents the power weapons. Instead, he cleans up the kill, so there we start to see the teamwork. We got life alert pushing towards top mid. Once again, now the top mid push will always... Well, it won't always work, but depending on where your enemies are positioned, it can get you double kills. So, Life Lord is assuming they spawned Mohawk. Let's see if they do. His teammate is in a BR battle. His teammate gets the cleanup. And, I mean, once again, there we see the individual skill of the players. We see Life Alert just kind of, um, you know, work in the streets here. Now, if you notice, he, he always keeps his gun on the same height level. That means if somebody, you know, if, if somebody were to rush him from the back, he could easily turn around and his... His reticle is already limed up for that no-scope headshot, but he cleans up a guy top mid and he's pushing towards a red bridge. Gets a nasty headshot. Now, I didn't really like his positioning on that play. If his shot wasn't great, he wouldn't have gotten the kill just because he was so far overextended, he couldn't back down at any moment. So, um, his teammate cleans up Fuggish. Now, they're up by a... Not a sizable lead, but they're up by a pretty good lead. His teammate just gets uh, killed, so it's 11 to 5. And um, the here teammate pushing him, so steady cleans up the guy who, um, the guy who pushed bottom mid. So we got life alert kind of navigating blue streets, and once again, you have to you know take in what he's doing with his reticle as he's moving across the streets. He's always keeping it at that at head level, which is super important. Looking for a guy top mid. He sees a guy top mid. Oh, couldn't get the shot off. He sees a guy top mid. Couldn't get the second shot off. And he's still challenging. But you see it's okay at that point. Because he's right next to the wall. And he misses a guy that's on blue street. He's just going to back up to his teammate. Good play. And now the guy is still lingering around blue. New snipe is up. Let's So steady gets it. Let's see what he can do with it. Now we have his so steady who's running at red or running to red ramp life alert here. Let's see what he does top mid at this last bullet. He sees a guy, he sees a guy top mid, misses a no scope, and gets double teamed. It's alright though. 
Uh, his teammate is at red, misses a couple snipes, but does make a guy one shot. Let's see if Life Alert gets a cleanup. Okay, so they rotated back towards Mohawk. I like this play. Uh, controlling Mohawk and one of the streets is a good play once again because it's so easy to get those um, those easy snipe shots off when you are at uh, when you're at Mohawk or on the streets. Gets cleaned up by a guy who runs bottom blue. Spawns right next to his teammate. Let's see if they stick together. Okay, so. Let's see if the guy either... Alright, so the guy that killed him and ran bottom blue did double back, assuming... Uh, I'm assuming that because of how fast the guy pushed Red Street from Mohawk. Um, his teammate did not hit a sniper shot here. Life Alert could have been saved if he did, but they still are up 14-9. Uh, to 9. So his teammate gets a good spawn, wasn't able to clean up that kill, and he gets pushed out by his enemy. Let's... No, he doesn't get the cleanup. So let's see what spawn he gets. Um, he gets the bottom blue spawn while his teammate is pushing top mid. His teammate does get a kill. He soars at him. So we got life alert here. Pushing top mid. His teammate is at bottom open. I think that's a good play just because when you're at open, your biggest worry is a guy top mid throwing nades at you or you know jumping down. And when you have that top mid control, uh, you can stop that from happening. Now, okay, so right here... Right here we see Life Alert is one shot, yet he's challenging Thuggish. The reason he's doing that is because when you shoot a player in the back, all they're thinking of is I'm weak and he's not. Okay, so even though Life Alert is one shot, Life Alert knew that the opponent wasn't going to turn around and shoot just because the opponent knew that, you know, he was down a couple shots. So um, we got Life Alert with one bullet and the sniper here at Blue Street. And once again, you can see, you know, other than that sprint jump, he keeps his reticle always aimed at, you know, head height. So uh, he's bottom blue right now, going back up the jump up. So he sees one guy so far. He sees two of them, so he's going to back down. He's going to stay alive. Um, now they're only up by five, so they have to play this smart. Up by six now. It's always important to keep trading kills um, when you're up. When you're not up by that much, you really do not want to trade kills because the game can um, switch tides when either the real gun spawns, when the snipe spawns, and the overshield spawns. But um, we have Steady at Red Street here picking up a kill. Um, you know, there again, you can see the individual skill. Life Alert kind of just jumping top mid here, um, trying to you know try to call the spawns of their opponents. He sees a guy Mohawk now. I don't agree that he should have kept challenging just because of the fact that the opponent had that ramp on Mohawk that he could have used to his advantage in which he was, despite the fact um, of how many shots was put on to him. So we got his teammate with the body shot, gets an easy cleanup. Now they are up 20 to 12 and there's 25 points to win. His teammate gets a nice double, or not a double, but a nice snipe right off the spawn. And we see Life Alert predicting a blue spawn. I don't... No, they do not get the blue spawn. So either they're getting a Mohawk spawn or an open spawn. I don't think they're going to get the open spawn. So let's just see if he gets pushed from Blue Street right here. Now, Thuggish cleans up his teammate from, I think, bottom blue, which would mean that they did get a Mohawk spawn. Or maybe even open spawn, I'm not sure. But he's just hiding Blue Street right here, waiting. Yep, he sees a guy... Now, once again, his teammate did have a huge advantage being on that ramp, and, you know, he was able to use it for leverage. That's why Life Alert backed down, even though they were both one-shot. So we see him get cleaned up from the guy Blue Street. Once again, you got to keep your awareness up of the sniper. His, his teammate gets a trade, which is a very good play, you know, especially when you were close to the end of the game. Um, they both get an open spawn. It would be pretty bad if they got uh, both killed off the open spawn, so that's why they are pushing off of open as fast as they can. So we got Life Alert bottom red right now. Trying to stay alive, I'm assuming. Uh, going towards Mohawk. He's a guy, bottom Mohawk. Throws that nade to cut off the angle, and that guy just seems pretty clueless, running bottom red. Thuggish. So we got Life Alert predicting that there's a guy bottom mid red side. Doesn't look like he was there. Night back down. Now picking up the DMARS, um, pretty it's a pretty good play because at a long range the DMAR is going to do a lot more than the BR just because it's a more accurate gun and it is a single shot gun, so you can be more accurate with your bullets. But um it, it looked like he knew that there was a guy bottom open, maybe that was a spawner, I'm not sure. 
but now they're playing pretty uh, pretty reckless as you can see they only need one more kill to win but um, they do end up picking it up so let's see we got alumni one shot here and there's the cleanup um, pretty nice gameplay from them